Alex Jones Show, because there is a war on for your mind. A long way from being out of the woods, my friends. But let me tell you, we are fighting back. Humanity's on the march. From Russia to the UK to the United States, globalism is in decline. And the elite said uh, in all their major publications, uh, I've, I've, I've really beat this to death, but I'm talking Washington Post, Financial Times of London, The Economist, New York Times, that if Hillary fell, she'd be the final domino for the new world order. And they got headlines Wednesday morning and Thursday morning in the two days of the election. World government's in trouble. But, but, but see, you acted in a vacuum like nobody else knew that stuff was going on. You acted in a vacuum where they'd be announcing world government, and on C-SPAN, we'd play the clip, they go, but there is no world government, Mr. Jones, you're being anti-Semitic. And I'd say, I don't think Jews run the world. That would turn into Jerusalem Post, Alex Jones, Jews run the world. I don't want Obamacare. It says here it has death panels, it'll double prices in the first three years. Shut up, racist, you're deeply racist. What? So it didn't make people racist, it just pissed everybody off. And it got so ridiculous that record numbers of blacks and record numbers of Hispanics in any election ever voted for Republicans since the 1950s. Because minorities were voting Republican then because they were for the civil rights movement, and then the Democrats flipped over and they ran the media because they'd been the establishment, and then that was it. The Republicans were not the establishment. They were trying to change things. They weren't perfect. But since a caller, or since Nico was mentioning it earlier, I'm going to take your calls here in a moment. Uh, the number is 877-789-2539, 877-789-ALEX. Uh, you guys brought me the article in here where it showed how voters who heavily supported Obama switched over to Trump. And this is a November 10th article I had seen from a couple days ago, I guess on uh, Thursday. And they admit that all these people that had actually given Obama the big victory went for Trump because they want an economic future. In all these deindustrialized areas, particularly in the north central area and the east. Isn't that interesting? Because that's really what happened. These people don't care what color the president is. It's just, man, it's hard to get a job. And, and, and then if you're on welfare, it doesn't pay the bills. And we're supposedly this big prosperous nation. What happened? You got sold out. So I was reading during the break. It's just amazing. To, this is actually a truthful article. I think my head's spinning out of the uh, Washington Post. The revenge of the white working class voter and where millions of Obama supporters flipped for Trump. So see, Town Hall says the revenge of white working voter, even a conservative side, and then where millions of Obama supporters flipped their vote. It wasn't white voters. It was record numbers of blacks, record numbers of Hispanics, and record numbers of former Obama voters and whites. because They proved they weren't racist. They voted for Obama, and they got screwed. So again, the biggest strength in this is that Obama was repudiated. People came together to elect Trump. So what do they do? You can't be part of this new future. you got to block. you got to go out and riot. You can't. No, it's racist. The KKK just got elected. That's why the South just voted for Donald Trump a Yankee. See, all the rules are off. All the old garbage is over. I'm only 42. Might be 43. I didn't grow up in the world of naked racism. I mean, if, if I was naive in one area, it wasn't women or anything. It, it, was, it was race stuff. I was so colorblind that I was so dumb when I was young. I wondered why, why do black people keep trying to beat me up? Well, now I think back, they were, they were racist. I was brought up so colorblind, like a, like a dodo bird or something, that I didn't even know what was hitting me. And that's what's so funny about the whole thing. It's just crazy. I mean, it, 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 it really is crazy to see what they've done to reality, how they've turned the whole thing upside down. I was talking to my dad last night. He came over to the house about his dad, who was elected to different county positions, and how he was the first person in the family to go Republican and how the KKK hated him and all the rest of it. And, and he was like, well, it wasn't that bad. Sure, they threatened him and did some stuff and did some things, but big deal. They were a bunch of wimps. Everybody hated them. He said, my dad was just one of the first people to stand up and say, we're not going to let him push people around anymore. And then I got to sit here. When both my grandfathers fought Hitler, one of my grandfathers was in the civil rights movement, just like Chuck Heston. They called Chuck Heston a racist, but he was involved in the 50s, man, almost getting killed. Places like Oklahoma and Alabama. What's he get? It's called racist. No, he stood up for everybody. He stood up for our Second Amendment. He stood up for civil rights. He stood up across the board. He was amazing. It's a freaking angel. Before he died, they called him a racist because he was pro-gun. What the hell does that mean? 
They got these Fox News sports people. Oh my, the, 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 the new KKK is the NRA. The NRA was founded to train Northerners on how to shoot and blacks how to shoot so they can protect themselves from the KKK. I'm so sick of the inversion of reality. I'm so sick of... I remember I caught black guys getting paid to go testify. I guess they were like actors because they didn't talk in like urban accents till they got up on stage. They're like, yeah, I'm a thug. I kill people. I'm black, but take my guns. Outside, they're like, thank you, Mr. Sir, for, like Urkel, for the money. You know, yeah, and there's a guy paying him 300, 400 bucks a piece. And I was like, you're actors? So the news calls me up and they go, the Dawson Murphy station, they go, did you do this because they're black? And I went, excuse, excuse me? And I went, they were being bribed. The House Ethics Committee had mentioned there, we beat a bunch of legislation because of it. One of my first big stories was in 99. I mean, I had a bunch of big stories, but that was one of the first really big ones on guns. When Nationwide NRA picked it up and they were like, and the paper was like, Alex Jones is a racist. And they had these black actors up there going, yo, we dangerous, we're going to get you. And then they go outside, thank you, Sarah, for the money. Whoa, next level. And I mean, I didn't know that much when I got into all this, folks. I learned watching it for myself that we're not in Kansas anymore. And they are gaming people big time, big time. And I get it. People are dissing you. People treat you bad in your life. You learn to bow up and be arrogant and not care. I, I know how that is. Hell, I fight the media all day. I don't care what they say about me. But it is a mental wound. It is a projection to say that if we have a border, it's racist. There's six plus billion people in the third world that want to come here. The third world's collapsing. We got to try to stabilize it. You don't do that by bringing the total unwashed here who have no future with diseases, you name it. All you do is drive down wages. And what do big corporations want? A permanent poor class. They want that. They get that. It's in game. They win. We're going to come back and go to your phone calls from across the country. Much of other clips and news to cover. And I'll also get into some of the lies they're telling about Trump on the border and health care and everything else. But let me just add this. We've extended this. We rarely do this three, four days because it has been so successful. And folks keep asking us to wait, I guess, till they get paid or whatever. But we have free shipping across the board at InfoWarsStore.com. Free shipping is a big deal. Sign up for auto ship on things that are like coffee or nutraceuticals or supplements or things you reorder and you can even order out a year out and you get 10% off additionally. But the big deal is we've sold out of a few products like the Pro King water filter, but other stuff's on sale as well, other water filters. 30% off Survival Shield X2, the key halogen. 34% off M4 Select Sorbal Food. 30% off DNA Force, that's a big deal. 30% off Supermel Vitality. 50% off all the Molon Lambe Pro Gun Apparel and more. Infowarsstore.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Notice how game-changing we are on politics. Notice how game-changing we are on future trends. Because we're not going off the mainstream lie to keep you diverted. We're going to policy papers and what the elite are really writing, thinking you're too dumb to read it. But you're not. When we tell you that X2 will change your life, it's changed mine. Or that DNA force is over-the-top amazing. Or that supernova vitality is, is just over-the-top cool. Folks, we only go out and find the top scientists to bring you the absolute game-changers. You owe it to yourself. Plus, the sports broadcast is a win-win. A non-zero-sum you know, game, I think that's the term. 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139, or InfoWarsStore.com. And I want to thank all of you over the years for supporting us and what you've done. You've seen it bear fruit. We've lived up to our commitment. You've done yours. I want to thank you all. We'll be back. Look, I'm not going to sit here and say, see, I told you so, that communist Chinese-style net censorship was coming to the web, because it's already here. It's being announced. The way you keep the Internet open and free is you get involved more than ever. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app. A new battleship in the fight. InfoWars Live. Available right now. We're looking for a crew to manage. You going to sit down and play games and be a trendy? Or are you going to be part of history? Don't sit by and let the Internet and free speech be stolen from you. Take action. The Alex Jones Show. Because there is a war on for your mind. A long way from being out of the woods, my friends. But let me tell you, we are fighting back. Humanity's on the march. From Russia to the UK to the United States, globalism is in decline. And the elite said uh, in all their major publications, I've, I've, I've really beat this to death, but I'm talking Washington Post, Financial Times of London, The Economist, New York Times, that if... Hillary fell, she'd be the final domino for the new world order. And they got headlines Wednesday morning and Thursday morning in the two days of the election. World government's in trouble. But, but, but see, you acted in a vacuum like nobody else knew that stuff was going on. You acted in a vacuum where they'd be announcing world government, and on C-SPAN, we'd play the clip, they go, but there is no world government, Mr. Jones, you're being anti-Semitic. And I'd say, I don't think Jews run the world. 
that would turn into Jerusalem Post, Alex Jones, Jews run the world. I don't want Obamacare. It says here it has death panels and it'll double prices in the first three years. Shut up, racist. You're deeply racist. What? So it didn't make people racist.